Girl's tears fell as she watched the fly. All because it wrote I love you on the table. This is no ordinary fly. It works out like crazy every day. It lifts weights with a match. Standing on a tape for endurance. With this complete physical regimen, it's going to accomplish the impossible. A few days ago, poor guy Nani ready to confess to girlfriend Ruth. But fate was cruel. His rival James killed him. James seems like a businessman, all prim and proper. But secretly, he's running a game, a real monster. He made it look like an accident. But then, something weird happened. You wouldn't believe. After Nani died, his soul didn't rest. He found a bug's egg and made it his nest. A few days later, what a crazy sight. Nani was reborn as a fly. Before he could wrap his head around this mess, a flood came rushing in, causing him stress. The fly got scared and tried to flee. Then it hit him he had wings. He could fly free. Then a giant shoe came crushing down. He was lucky to hide and not be found. As a fly, Nani faced dangers anew. Dodging a bird into a house, he flew. It was James' house. The sight fueled his rage. He dove at his foe, but it was like a cage. No impact he made, just risking his hide, refusing to give up. He tried and he tried, persistent as ever. He harassed James in sleep, forcing him to wrap up like a mummy so deep. Onto a cigarette, the fly made a leap, causing a fire, making sure James wouldn't peep. For 24 hours, the fly was a pest, leaving James with dark circles. No time to rest. The next day, the fly followed James out. Not long in the car, blown away by a shout. With a fly speed, he couldn't keep up the chase. But spying a cop car, he found his place. Riding the wind, he landed with grace. Timing it right, back in the race, into James' eyes. He crashed with a start. The car flipped, hit a truck. All fell apart. Then James saw, written in the glass. I will kill you. A message bold and crass. He thought it was a trick, his mind in a whirl. But in the bathroom, the fly nearly ended his world. Then James knew, this fly was a threat. With insecticide in hand, his match was set, but no spray could stop the fly's vengeful quest. His determination was more than a pest. He came up with a plan, but it needed Ruth's help. The fly found Ruth grieving her own death, so he used her tears to write a few words on the table. I am Nani. Seeing these words, Ruth was stunned. Only then did she realize Nani had been killed by James. She decided to help Nani get revenge. Ruth was a designer. She helped the fly design a gas mask. Now it didn't have to worry about insecticide. And that's not all. Ruth also designed gym equipment to help the fly build up its strength. Not just resistance bands and a treadmill, but also matchstick barbells. Before long, the fly had bulked up with muscles. The revenge mission officially began. The fly dropped a cigarette butt on the bedding. James nearly burned to death. He dropped poison into his cup. James almost died of poisoning. When James went to the beauty salon, the fly deliberately harassed him. But each time, the fly was just a step away from revenge success. A fly seeking revenge turned out to be much harder than imagined. And after several dangerous encounters, James beefed up his defenses. He sealed all the cracks in his house. Everyone entering had to be disinfected. The fly couldn't get in the main door. It had no choice but to ask Ruth for help. Ruth came to James's house and secretly unscrewed a screw, letting the fly in. The fly went straight into James's clothes and bit his skin frantically. The constant. Relentless torment pushed James to the brink of a breakdown. He wore a helmet to meet clients. Before meetings could start, he'd see the fly on the table and couldn't help swaying at it. The fly landed on a client's head. James, without thinking, knocked the client over. The outcome was predictable. The deal was definitely off, and it faced a complaint from the client. James immediately moved his assets. The fly brought over matches and burned all the cash. James, Furious, sought a witch for help, but the witch told him the dead Nani was the fly and began to cast spells at home, bringing into sparrows to specifically deal with the fly. But the fly, after its physical training, was very fast. During the chase, the sparrows crashed into a power socket, causing a fire. James was trapped inside, luckily rescued by employees in time. Reviewing the surveillance footage, he discovered Ruth had unscrewed the screw, so he captured Ruth, threatening to kill her. To save Ruth, the fly had to show itself. James saw the the fly and prepared to squash it but the fly lifted a steel needle and pierced his foot instantly he grabbed a gun and shot at the fly but hit the power controller instead the chandelier fell instantly glass shards flew towards james the fly raised the steel needle ready to deliver the fatal blow but james was prepared it pulled out a magnet the fly was pinned down james cut off the fly's wing and stabbed its legs with the needle in this critical moment the fly saw the musket on the cabinet to get revenge it had to make a choice he charged into the flames to 
to ignite itself, then flew straight at the musket. The bullet shot through James and hit the gas tank. With a loud bang, James was engulfed in flames. Years later, Ruth was harassed again. A fly suddenly appeared and knocked the bad guy to the ground. When he opened his eyes, he saw a fly coming at him with a steel needle.